Is I'm gonna show you guys the family that I just made. Welcome to my Sims 4 Let's Play. We're gonna do. We're doing. The concept is supernatural. We're doing supernatural creatures. We're doing four supernatural roommates. We have a werewolf, a vampire, a mermaid, and a wizard, a spellcrafter, a spellcaster. So. This is my new series, my first, I would say my first Sims series on my channel. I do have a one, one Sims video from me four years ago, I think, and that was just, you know, one video thing. So, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to go through each character. And I'm going to tell you their stories and basically everything I did Sub when I thought I was recording, bossy. but I wasn't. Okay. This is Maya McManus. She is our werewolf of the family. Uh -huh. Of the roommates. And the blush, I don't know, it just transferred. But I kind of like it. I think it's so cute. So this is Maya. She. So the story with Maya is that she was walking home one night from work and she was attacked and bitten and left there you know left for dead but she didn't die she survived and now she is cursed every month on the full moon she turns into a werewolf and so that's her curse and she never found any clan to claim her nothing so she's just alone so one day she uh -huh. inherited uh -huh. She inherited a four-bedroom house from her, we'll just say, like, her grandmother that, you know, died, and she inherited the house. Uh -huh. So, she put out an ad one day for roommates because she's just so lonely, and, but what she didn't mm. expect was to get roommates of ev different supernatural beings to come knocking on her door saying they saw the ad and they're interested. So she was surprised by that. So let's go through her outfits. So this is her everyday outfit. This is her formal attire. She does have tattoos. I thought they looked really cool. Really cool on her. And then let's go. Let's zoom in on the makeup. Because I love the makeup. It's gorgeous. So this is custom content makeup. Except for the blush. That is base game. But... Everything else, even the, the overlay on her skin and the tattoos are custom content, which I get my custom content on CurseForge. It just bundles it all together and it automatically inserts it into your files for you. So I find that really helpful that I don't have to take them, download them on the Sims resource and do all that anymore. This is her activewear. She's very cute. This is all custom content. I would say this dress is custom content. And this is the whole outfit is custom content. Um, this is custom content as well. This is her sleepwear, or when you know when she's feeling herself. This is her party wear. Everything that she wears is wearing is custom content. But I love, I love, 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 love. So I gave her curly hair because I thought it just looks beautiful with the red curls. Would like a crown of curls would look gorgeous on her. So this is her swimwear, just simple one piece. This is her hot weather wear. I love the hip chain or the waist chain. I love the waist chains. Um, and then this is her cold weather wear. But so Maya is hmm. a young adult. I think they're all young adults. I'm pretty sure. She is an outdoor enthusiast. She loves being outside. She's also very ambitious. Mm -hmm. She loves outside. And she's very adventurous, too. So, this is Maya. And I love her. She's gorgeous. So this is Spencer. He's from an evil <sighs> clan. He was turned <laughs> out, so, so, 200 years ago. And he's had to be evil this whole time, which he doesn't really like because he was always, like, really good. Even when he was human, so 
Mm. After hundreds of years of him doing these evil things for this evil vampire cult, kind of, and he was stuck. He couldn't get out. Eventually, he did find a way out. He escaped, and now he wants to be a good vampire. That is his goal in life, is he wants to be good. He's very active, socially awkward, but once he has friends, he's very loyal to his friends. So, this is Spencer. Um, everything on him is CC as well, except for the boots. The boots are the only base game thing that's on him. And then I also added like some nude lipstick on him, just to make him seem more human in a way because he is in hiding hmm. they're all in hiding so this is his formal wear this is his sportswear sleep party outfit his swimwear his hot weather and his cold weather now i really i like him his character like a lot like he just is so grunge like the hair the beanie um, the shirt, everything is just so grunge. Like he's very cool to me. So this is Aquamarine. She is our resident mermaid. She is very her style is very Y2K, whereas Maya's very laid back and simple. And Maya's more of like the clean girl aesthetic, and Aquamarine is the Y2K aesthetic. So that's why everything, she, every outfit she has is pink. Now, Aqua's story, okay, let's start with the reason why she loves pink. So she is a mermaid, and in her mermaid form, she's pink. So that is why she loves the color pink, because she can't be, she can't go home right now, since her family was, like, unalived or, like, taken to be researched on, and she was the only one who escaped, and that's why she has this scar on her face. But she's the only one that escaped, and she is in hiding now. She wants to go home. She wants to go home a lot. Like, you know, she's a child of the ocean. She loves the outdoors. She's very outgoing. But one thing is, she loves being in the water. She wants to go home really bad, but she can't because it's not safe. So everything that she has on as well is also custom content. But she does want to be an artist. She wants to be a painter. And, you know, she wants to be able to paint things from home that nobody would question because it's just a painting, you know. So, hmm. this, I love this dress so much. I love this little detail right here in the back. So cute. Let's zoom in on her makeup too because I love it. So cute. Hmm. So, this is her formal wear. This is her sports wear. This is her sleepwear. Her party wear. Um, her swimwear, her hot weather outfit, so cute. And then this is her mm -hmm. cold weather outfit. This is from, um, what is the snowy, snowy escape? Yeah. So there, she's not wearing custom content in this outfit, but this one is all custom content. Um, this is not, this is base game. Ho <laughs> ho! This is custom content except for the shoes. Hmm. And then this is not custom content. This is from Island Living. The shirt is custom content. The rest isn't. And then her formal wear. This is all custom content except for the necklace. And then this full, uh, her full outfit, even her makeup is custom content. Um, and then she also has a skin texture on. But yeah, this is Aqua. So you can see a little bit of her scar more. Um, and then we have Zayden. Zayden is our spellcaster. Um, so he discovered spells when he was a teenager, and eventually he wants to know all of the spells that he can learn. You know, he wants to know everything. But he made a mistake and he did not listen to, um, you know, his 
mentors, I would say mentors, and he went and he tried to defeat a monster on his own, thinking that he knew all the spells to do it, but he couldn't, he wasn't strong enough yet, so that's why he has all these scars on him, because of the monster, and his mentors actually had to go save him, and one of his mentors ended up dying in the process, so he carries all this guilt, and he left his coven, and now he is living with the roommates, and he's trying to learn all that there is to know about spellcasting before returning to his coven. He wants to be fully proficient. That way, no, he won't ever have to rely on anybody ever again. And he can do the protecting this time instead. So this is his everyday wear. His formal. His sportswear. Um, his sleepwear. His party wear. This is all custom content. Um, this is his swimwear. His hot weather and his cold weather. These are our characters, and yeah. let's see where they live. Really quickly, um, I haven't worked on their house yet. Just making them, like actually making them, took the long, like took an hour and a half to do. So I haven't been able to edit the house, but so they are living in Moonwood Mill because it was Maya who inherited this house. So she doesn't know why she inherited the house here in Moonwood Mill. Actually, no, scratch that. So it's she inherited the house from her grandmother and yeah, so she, Maya is from Moonwood Mill, originally, and you know, she was bitten one day and just turned into, she got the curse, the werewolf curse. Um, I actually haven't seen Moonwood Mill on my own, but I like it, it's cute, it's very like, edgy, you know? So... Like, it's just cool, like, have sewers and everything. So we're going to work on the house. And, yeah, I'll probably be back once the house is complete.